the American school system is in trouble. America has enjoyed decades of excellence on global platforms in most arenas, and the excellence can be traced to the education system, which now stands in deep disrepair, lowering our performance in many categories across the globe. If you consider that every athlete competing at the college, pro, or even Olympic level was a product first of the school system, then the future of our top place on global platforms is potentially in jeopardy, except my guest today is on a mission to change that one school at a time. You are watching Influence Media, PSI TV, the Netflix of biz brands. Terry Sisko and his wife, Cindy, embarked on a mission five years ago to rejuvenate their community, starting with Chamberlain High School in urban Tampa. And that's actually how I met Terry. And I was overwhelmingly impressed by the work of the Legacy Alliance that had all, they had already done at Chamberlain High School and his vision for the organization. That's why Today, Terry Sisko is my esteemed guest, and PSI TV loves to partner with 501c organizations that are doing fantastic work in their community to improve the lives of others through their mission. To that end, raising awareness of what the Legacy Alliance does and inviting you to support this mission is our greatest joy to participate in. Terry, thank you for being my guest today. Thank you for having me and thanks for this platform. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So Terry, give us a high level overview of the Legacy Alliance. Yeah, uh, Chamberlain High School was a fabulous high school. Our daughter graduated in 97, got a spectacular education. But as Tampa moved out, um, all of the um, newer schools started to be built out in the suburbs. And Chamberlain found itself as an inner city urban school. Uh, its performance really dissipated. It became the second worst performing school in the state. And it's now the poorest school in Hillsborough County, Florida. Uh, we've lived in this community for 50 years. It's interesting because there are two, uh, almost two cities within that area. You've got um, more of the inner city. Uh, then you have Carrollwood which is more of an affluent community, and both of them feed the school. So my wife and I were sitting at home just uh, having a conversation, and it's like, you know, we're one vote. I can't change the country. I can't change the state with one vote, but we can clean up our backyard. So we went down to Chamberlain High School, and we said, we want to we want to help this school out. Uh, so our high-level mission is to uh, pull uh, get the community to pour in to the school to improve the education for our current students at the school. You're doing a great job from what I can see. So why Ch you kind of answered why Chamberlain High School, but are other schools on the, on the agenda? So I started here because I've been in the community, like I said, for 50 years, and I have tons of contacts. Uh, so you start where your area of influence is. And um, uh, Chamberlain is, uh, you know, the alumni there are spectacular. Uh, Trudy, I did a SWOT analysis using a business term. And what I found the strength of the school is it's an alumni. Uh, Mayor Jane Castor, um, Rhea Law, the president of U University of South Florida, Steve Rainey, the CEO of Raymond James Bank, uh, our congresswoman, our the, the com uh, chair of the county commission, they're all Chamberlain graduates. So let's get the power of the community and the power of the alumni to transform this uh, sinking school. Well, that absolutely makes sense. So what are some of the most proudest accomplishments of the Legacy Alliance to date? There, there are a couple of things. Um, uh, this, is, this is not the Legacy Alliance's doing. Uh, we have a curriculum by junior achievement called 3DE. It stands for three-dimensional education. Uh, but what we've been able to do with 3DE is to partner with them. Every junior in the curriculum, and we have about 150 students in each grade level that are in the curriculum, uh, each student in their junior year 
has to start a business. Well, all the other schools treat it kind of like a science project. What we do at Chamberlain is we use real money. So we get the alumni that have financial capacity to come in and be sharks as in Shark Tank. And at the end of the day, after we hear the students' pitches, uh, we get the alumni together and say, okay, so who do you want to fund? Well, they've, they've got hearts. They're like, well, let's just fund everybody. And they write a big check. And so we fund these startup businesses. And then at the end of the school year, uh, we uh, the students cash out on their businesses. We pay the sharks back, but they never want their money back. So that just keeps accumulating for the next year. And then we give the kids the profit. And uh, these kids are making serious profits. And but uh, you see, <laughs> I, I, I there's so much involved here. I want to break the cycle of generational poverty. That's my objective. And so if we can teach a kid how to start a business and run a business, well, then we can start breaking that cycle of generational poverty. I don't care what you do, whether you have a lawn maintenance business or you're a doctor, you have to run a business. And so one of the proudest accomplishments is the uh, Shark Tank uh, endeavor. Another one, I have three goals. Uh, I hope I'm not getting too far ahead of you here. Go ahead. I've got three goals. We want to improve the graduation rate. And by the way, the graduation rate in our 3DE curriculum this year was 100%. Uh, so we want to improve the graduation rates. The second thing I want to do is I want every student not on an IEP, an individual education plan. I want them on an ICP, an individual career plan, starting in ninth grade, because what happens is the day they graduate, the day after they graduate, they fall into the great abyss of life and they struggle. I want them to know exactly what's going to happen to them the day after graduation, whether it's college whether it's going into the workforce or the military, I want them to have a plan. The third thing we want is we want every student to graduate with $1,000 in the bank account. So one of the great accomplishments, I think, that I've started uh, the uh, Millionaires Club, uh, and we teach uh, financial management and principles. But more important, uh, we've partnered with Achieva Credit Union. They open accounts for the students and then uh, the students are able to either make deposits in there or we're, we have partnership with like Magdalene Methodist Church. Uh, we give every student $30, put them on a bus and take them over and they have to make a deposit. So they're learning how to make deposits. So they're learning all sorts of financial uh, information and, and how, to, how to manage their finances. So three things, improve graduation rate, every student on an ICP and graduate with $1,000. That's my goal. And you're well on your way to that. And speaking of the, the Shark Tank, that's how you and I met because I was a part of that. And I just want to celebrate that the two groups I mentored through that program went on beyond the school level to uh, participate in the next level of the com competition. So that And they made profit. So that was amazing. You're, you're, you're amazing. And I, we really appreciated your help. Um, I don't know if you know this. Two of the girls uh, who were juniors this year went to the University of South Florida's entrepreneur camp. They were invited. Uh, they went and they did so well that the University of South Florida invited them to the college entrepreneur camp. They were the only two high school kids and uh, it was called Bulls Pitch for the South Florida Bulls. It's called Bulls Pitch. It's like our Shark Tank. They won. Wow. They, that, beat, all the, they beat the college kids. That's fantastic. I great? It's really great. I really I, I'm so grateful and honored to be a part of what is happening here at whatever level we can be. So fantastic. That's why we're doing this today, Terry. So now, Terry, you remind me of Moses. You know, God called him at 80 years old, served the children of Israel, and he did it for several years. But you're not yourself a young man. So I want to ask you, where do you see the Legacy Alliance in five years? And do you have a Joshua under studying you? Uh, yes, uh, that I don't have a speech impediment like Moses, but uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, um, I see the Legacy Alliance um, in two ways. At Chamberlain, um, my mission is to do two things. 
I do have an understudy. Her name is Nancy Leach. Uh, Nancy's spectacular. And um, to this day, everything that I do, I, incorpor I include her in emails and meetings. Because if anything happened to me, I want her to be able to pick right up. Um, the, the second part of that, I get calls every week from a principal asking how they can start a legacy alliance. Well, Chamberlain is the only school that has it. Um, but in Title I schools, there's very low parent participation for a host of reasons. Um, so PTSAs are really difficult in Title I schools. So again, looking at the strength of Chamberlain, the alumni, well, that strength exists in every high school. Uh, so one of the concepts that I have, I don't know if I have the energy to do it. I might have to find an executive director to run it, but I'd, I'd love to perhaps create a broader um, um, initiative of the Legacy Alliance. So there could be a Leto Legacy Alliance, a Brandon Legacy Alliance. Uh, most of the legacy schools like Brandon and Hillsborough and all those original schools in Hillsborough County, they're, they're suffering. They don't they don't have much in the way of a PTSA. So I I do see the continuation of it. Uh, this, the, uh, an important part of that is raising the funds uh, because everything takes money. So if I can create this huge reserve of cash over here, well, I know that, you know, when I'm ready to bow out, it'll continue because the cash is there. Yeah. And um, I really think that there will be even schools outside of Florida that may be interested. But with Chamberlain as the model school, it will create almost like the opportunity for little franchise opportunities, so to speak. So, uh, Terry, where you, you mentioned a little bit where some of the support for the Legacy Alliance has come from. But let's just dive a little bit deeper into that. Where is the support coming from so far? Yeah, uh, support. The reason I called it the Legacy Alliance is because I envision all these partnerships coming together around the school. Uh, first of all, the alumni. Uh, Brad Holmes graduated from Chamberlain in 1997. He's now the general manager, the first African-American general manager uh, of an NFL football team, the Detroit Lions. Brad grew up on the football field at Chamberlain. He donated $20,000 to the school. Dennis Aust played for the St. Louis Cardinals. He donated $15,000 to baseball. So the alumni are pitching in um, a huge uh, and it's so funny because just when our account starts to get down a little bit, uh, somebody will throw $500, $1,000 into the account. Uh, the second place are churches like Magdalen Methodist gives us between fifteen dollars and $20,000 a year. Uh, the third uh, is the uh, business community. We're members. Chamberlain Legacy Alliance is a member of the Carrollwood Area Business Association. So all those businesses are constantly saying, how do we get involved? What can we do? Can we create an internship? So uh, those are the three key areas. I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but those are the three key areas. Yes, fantastic. So Terry, a lot of 501c organizations like the Legacy Alliance benefit from helping various forms. You just mentioned some of those, but there are usually some constant continuous needs. And granted, our show is not local just to Tampa. So considering that this show has a more expanded reach, how can listeners, if their heart is so pulled, support the organization? The best thing, the absolute best thing anybody can do, we created a program called Read With Me. Uh, just go into the local elementary school and help our students learn to read. In doing the research, 91% of the incoming freshmen into Chamberlain High School this past year were reading below grade level, 91%. And so as I started drilling down, well, the middle school has the same problem. I just had, I just had uh, breakfast two days ago with the assistant principal of a local elementary school that feeds into Chamberlain. They have four units of first grade. 
three of those units, in other words, they have four classrooms for first grade. Three of those classrooms went the whole year with substitute teachers. So the, the greatest existential threat that I see in this country isn't necessarily climate change. It's not having teachers to teach our students how to fix the climate. And so uh, we have got to do something profoundly different if we expect to improve the reading scores. Right now, the best thing we can do is just have retired teachers, retire anybody that's retired, get into a school, sit down and read with the kids. That's the best thing they could do. Mm. Is there anything else you'd like to share, Terry? Uh, well, there's always, you know, <laughs> write a check, uh, but uh, I don't want to be that. that. Uh, no, nope. let's ask them to write the check. Write the check. Yeah. So and then write it to? The Chamberlain High School Legacy Alliance. And uh, uh, and then I, I, they can go to our website and there's a donation site there. But, um, you know, I, it's all about relationships. You can't develop a relationship just by writing a check. Now, I know that not everybody wants to go into a school, um, especially a school like a Chamberlain. There's this misperception that there are gangs of thugs walking around the high school. It's just not true. If there's a gang, they have a Marine Corps ROTC uniform on. That's the only gang we have walking around the school. Um, these are great kids. They don't look like you and me, Trudy, but they're great kids. I love them. And uh, it you don't know what it's like until you experience it to walk down the hallway and have this six foot eight, huge African-American young man with a hoodie on walk up to you and give you a hug. They just want to be loved. They just want to be loved and valued. So the best thing you can do is get into a school and, uh, you know, if you need help, just contact me. I'll tell you how to do it. Um, where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, and, you know, my mother taught me a long time ago, Trudy, that a bad thing is a good thing when it leads to the best things. Mm. I don't care that Chamberlain became the worst performing school in the state of Florida, because what it's doing is it's bringing all of these resources to bear to make it the best school. That's our objective. And you can see if you drive by that school that big changes have already been happening. Their football field just got a huge makeover. And uh, I've been in the hallways of that school. So I can I can attest to what you said. You see the, guy, the kids in their ROTC uniform. You see beautiful children just trying to get to their next level in life. And that's absolutely right. Well, I, again... Terry, I applaud you and what the Legacy Alliance is doing. I am so thrilled to have had whatever part that I've actually already played and will continue to play. Thank and you. I invite those who, of you watching this to really see how you can, if not, if if you're if your heart's not, you know, or if your relationships are not with the Chamberlain High School, then start looking at how you can help your local school because that's what Terry and his wife Cindy did. They just said. Let's clean up our backyard. And that's how the Legacy Alliance got started. And they have made a huge impact on that one school. And if you impact one school, all the kids coming out of those schools have a better chance than they did before the Legacy Alliance showed up. So, Terry, I applaud you. I thank you thank so you. much for being my guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to check out ChamberlainLegacy.com. And I will put it in the credits so you can Make sure you spell the correct to visit the site. Terry, thank you so much. Thanks, Trudy. I appreciate it.